What is going on, everybody? It's yet another episode of Lights Sports Breakdown. Final NBA edition video. We finally made it to the NBA Finals, and there's two teams remaining, but only one team can be crowned the champion, and it's going to be a first time being a champion for one of these two teams. The Heat didn't make it to the Finals this year, and the Lakers didn't make it to the Finals this year either. So we're going to have a new champion this year. It's going to be great. I kind of get more variety of jerseys. We only have one player that's currently playing in the Finals, Brooke Lopez, but this is his Nets shirt. And I just put LeBron James, even though that's not his number he played on the Cavs with when he was going to switch the number six. I got that jersey. My mistake. But we're kind of getting off topic. So let's get on to the matchup. NBA Finals, who we believe is going to win it all. The Phoenix Suns versus the Milwaukee Bucks. The Phoenix Suns haven't been to the NBA Finals since 1993, where Charles Barkley led the team, and unfortunately they couldn't get past MJ's Bulls. The Suns are back. CP3, DeAndre Ayton, and Devin Booker, the big three. CP3 has been lights out for this team. Biggest game of his career was game six against the Clippers. Paul George was able to snag two wins away from the Suns, but without Kawhi, it just was too much, and CP3 played one of his best games of his career, and a lot of people defined it as his legacy game if he lost game six and uh, game seven was forced and he lost then his legacy would have been tainted but Chris Paul came in clutch Devin Booker the torch has been passed to him the Black Mamba he's just been special and DeAndre Ian has validated why he was a former number one pick chosen by the Phoenix Suns and but for them to win their first ring, it's their first time in the final. CP3 finally can get his first ring ever. LeBron has four. Wade has three. Carmelo doesn't have any. Chris Bosh has two. CP3 is the only other member of the Banana Bow crew that has not won a ring. And this is his best chance to win it at the age of six, 36. I almost said 63. No, he is not 63. He is 36. But now... He's going to have to face the Milwaukee Bucks. And the Milwaukee Bucks had a difficult road as well. They faced against a surging Hawks team that was having a magical season. Looked like they could potentially upset the Bucks. But Giannis got injured, I think, in Game 4. Ben Young got injured in Game 5. And couldn't play in Game 6. Well, he was able to play in Game 6, but Giannis wasn't able to play after Game 3, I believe. So, both stars were injured. Trey Young just wasn't himself in the final game of the Bucks versus Atlanta Hawks series. And Chris Middleton and jo um, Drew Holiday. Justin. I, I almost said Justin Holiday because he has two other brothers. But Drew Holiday and Chris Middleton powered this Bucks team to their first NBA Finals since 1974, which is a very, very long time. And even though Giannis didn't get to play in the final games, I guess all the backlash he had for choosing the Bucks rather than opting out instead of signing the Supermax, I guess he made the right decision because now the Bucks are in the finals, but just because they're there doesn't mean it's guaranteed. You don't just want to get to the finals and lose. You ultimately want to win and win that championship. He's already won the MVP twice. He's won the Defensive Player of the Year. The year. He's had such a great young career, but it, it doesn't mean a thing if you don't have a ring. So that's the goal for Giannis and this Bucks team. And both, both teams have a lot to prove. Not a lot of experience in the finals. The one sole player that has experience in the NBA, final, NBA Finals is Jay Crowder. And the couple of times that he's been in, he hasn't been able to win. 
uh, with the the Cavs or with the Heat last year. And now he's with the Suns, and he hopes to finally win that first one. Main factor is Giannis. It looks like he's going to be able to play in the series, but if he re-aggravates his hyperextended knee, then the Bucks' chances are out the window. And Chris Paul has been blessed with health this year because he's had a lot of injuries throughout his career. And if he can just stay healthy for this one series, he can finally capture that title to cement his legacy as one of the best point guards to ever grace the NBA floor. With that all in mind, this decision on who I believe is going to win the championship was very, very difficult. But it all hinges on Giannis's health and if CP3, DeAndre Ayton, can, Devin Booker can play magical like they have been. So, if they do, and this is this is what I believe. I believe the series is going to go six games. But in the season series, the Bucks were dominated by the Suns. Despite it only being a one-point loss, they, they still an L. So, with that in mind, and I just think that the Suns are hungrier, this is going to be 4-2 to Suns. Suns are ultimately going to win it. CP3 is going to get his first ring. Devin Booker as well, and a lot of the Suns roster. And this is going to be one of those magical seasons that goes down in NBA history because this is going to be the Suns' first ever NBA title. So thank you for watching Light Sports Breakdown. I hope you guys enjoy the series. And it, it's sad because the, the season's coming to an end, So, but one team will be crowned the champion. So thanks for sticking along with me for the ride, and we'll be on this ride again next season. But... Thanks for watching Light Sports Breakdown. This has been LSB.